Hello, LVDLCS students, family, and friends. It's Mrs. Mooring here, bringing you another one of the competitions from the first round of Book Madness that we did for the month of March. In our first round, there was the books, the book no one ever read, Story and Pictures by Cornelia Funk, and Godzilla, written by David Zeltzer, illustrated by Jared Chapman. So we had to decide which one do we like better, this one or this one, and LVDLCS students voted for Godzilla as the winner. So I'm going to read this one aloud for you just to refresh your memories so that we can vote on its next competition. Godzilla, Godzilla by David Zelser, pictures by Jared Chapman. Birdie was a big codfish, very big. Good morning, students. When you are big, it's hard to fit in, and sometimes you don't know your own strength. Sorry, guys. But Bertie was quite gentle, too. His favorite activity was reading in his school's library. He especially loved the books about sharks. Maxwell was another cod in the school. His favorite activity was making Bertie's life miserable. Hey everyone, look at the monster, he would say. When Bertie would ask him to stop, Maxwell would always shout, Hey guys, what's this beast's name again? Godzilla, the other fish would reply, and then they would laugh. Ha ha, he he, turtle snort. So one day Bertie ate him. Ah, oh, thought Bertie, that's the end of my problems. Let me out! But Maxwell's buddies were on to him. You are in big trouble, Godzilla, they shouted. So Bertie swallowed them too. You can't just keep eating everyone, said the school nurse. Mmm, said Bertie, school nurse. Now I'll be happy, I'll be one happy fish, he thought. He could finally read about sharks in peace. Of course, it wasn't peaceful with all that bumping in his belly. He needed a plan. Hey, move over, let us out, grrr. He read a book and got an idea. He could make himself sneeze. He went to the ancient book section and opened the dustiest book he could find. Dusty books make everyone sneeze. Yuck! Ugh. Sorry about that, guys, said Bertie, offering a fin of friendship. Get away from us, Godzilla, they all said. Things were even worse now. Bertie started to cry. Feeling empty, Bertie decided to leave his school forever. Help, help, came the sudden squeals. The whole school was racing toward Bertie. Shush, 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 shush! cried Maxwell. We need somewhere to hide. Get in. Where are they? demanded the shark. Hmm, mumbled Bertie. If I don't find those fish, I'm going to eat you bones and all. Bertie showed him the book he was reading. Did you know that sharks have no bones? He said. I'm boneless? Asked the shark. Bertie nodded. Fine, but I can still sink my teeth into you. Did you know, said Bertie, that sharks lose teeth when they eat? How many teeth? It says here you'll lose thousands over your lifetime. Gulp. Nice try, fish growled the shark. It's time to say goodbye. Bertie thought fast. Isn't there anything else you want to know about sharks? The shark eyed the shelves. Well, he whispered, do you know anything about getting rid of shark breath? It's for a friend. I understand, said Bertie. Take this, but you'd better get going. Some sharks can't breathe if they stand still. When the shark had gone, Bertie let loose. Hooray! Yes! Splendid! 
As a reward for saving the school, Principal Crabb awarded Bertie a very special title, Junior Librarian. And no one ever called him Codzilla again. Our hero! From then on, that library had some very big borrowers and one very important rule, no eating in the library. The end. And that's an important rule we learned in the first week of school. Codzilla was our winner for the competition between Codzilla and the book no one ever read. And that was for the first week of March Madness. So let's get to voting. Have a great day.